And uh, here we go. It's saying that we're recording. Uh, this is Mike Barkoff with Mercedes. What's your last name? Neeson. Neeson? Neeson, like Nissan, the car. Oh, shit. Well, that's even cooler. I, yeah. I thought it was GN this whole time, so that's what it is on Facebook. Yeah, no, that's... That's just... that's an anagram of your middle and last name initial? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Her name on my phone is Mercedes Benz. I, I like that, yeah. Merce it should be Mercedes Benz, though. So. It has a Z. Oh, okay. It is Mercedes Benz. Because he's <laughs> he is like a, the public definition of a, a word that doesn't have the letter Z announced. I can't think of any off the top of my head. I'm a letter at motherfuckers. Motorboat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 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 So, I saw this one meme where it was just like a picture of Downey and I was a kid with Down syndrome on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was so hilarious. <laughs> like the downy of the toilet paper? No, like downy the laundry detergent, but they put oh, some kid okay. that had Down syndrome on it. <laughs> yeah, on the bottle. Yeah, on the bottle. Nice. That is like, good. What if they really did that in real life, though? Oh, that would be lovely. See, Amazing I, marketing. I tactic. think they could do Yeah, that's the thing. I think they could do it as like a social statement and get away with it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they could be like, they could be like downy, and then they half of their profits or something are donated yeah. to like a Down syndrome yeah. association. Yeah. And when they just have all these little yeah. kids with Down syndrome on their <laughs> Like the picture of baby jeans. I met this chick, right? She looked like she had Down syndrome, but oh. she was completely normal. Like she had the fucking face of a Down syndrome kid. That tends to be how it goes. I'm just yeah, like, 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 like most guys. Like, pretty normal. Yeah, it's pretty like, much oh, you're pretty normal. But she's just like, yeah. But you go all man. She was also like, in the psych ward, though. So that's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing Relatively wrong. normal. I call it the funny farm because you uh, pluck amongst all the chickens. Uh, she, oh my God. <laughs> and when it's time to take the pills, that's when you know you get your chicken feed. <laughs> and she, she was probably like, why, why don't you, why didn't you think I was normal? And then that's kind of a hard. No, if she would have asked me why I didn't think she was normal. I'd tell her because she looks like a Down syndrome person. <laughs> that's why I like Cody. Like he has no bearing. <laughs> you just look like we have a kitten with Down syndrome. One of our kittens does have Down syndrome, I, I swear to God. I know, and I pray for him every night. <gasps> I mean, they call him Downey. Downey? Yeah. I Robert Downey Jr. We, I can't decide if I want to keep that one or the fluffy one that chirps. Which is the one that Gabe likes? The one that Gabe put on his left peck? The special. The special, the special cat. Guy. He likes yeah. the Down syndrome The special syndrome little one. guy. I like the Down syndrome one, too. I was kind of holding them and getting my feel for them all. And I think, I think a lot of them have a lot of learning to do. <laughs> they still have to go to school. They still have to, you know, get straight A's. To yeah, get, to get high. At get the get the lure box certification. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna train them to do backflips and light shit on fire. Yeah, that would be cool. Like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but in cat form. So the no, because if we have Ninja, Ninja Turtles, that's way turtles. better than having Ninja cats. <laughs> they, no, 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 man. Like no, because cats are like way faster and smaller and like. Ninja oh. turtles are pretty slow. But the turtle's you know also I mean? got a shell, so he can like withstand a lot of shit. But they have a soft spot on their belly. They do got a soft spot. They have a whole, a whole half of them is soft have spot you ever, at least. Have you ever seen a movie where Chuck Norris is fighting off people and like someone throws a grenade and he flips on it with his belly? No. I think I actually might have seen that once. Not with Chuck Norris per se, but that that theory kind of backs Chuck Norris is a legend. He yeah. doesn't swim in water; just wants to be around him. But, <laughs> but Ninja Chuck Norris's are different than Ninja Turtles and Ninja Cats. Yeah, that's I mean, true. Ninja Cats. I mean, I can see them being a badass. But guy. I I still think Ninja Chuck Norris would have a little soft spot in his belly. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Or somewhere, somewhere like an yeah. Achilles heel. Of sorts. Yeah. 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 You know, I don't Chuck know Norris has. Chuck Norris can ever be beat, honestly. Chuck Norris he, is a god. He has a soft spot somewhere, though. Even God has a soft spot. Why did Jet Lee defeat him? Yeah. Chuck Norris. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Jet Lee did beat Chuck Norris in a fight. So I mean, like Jet Lee beat Chuck Didn't Norris. Really? It's like rock paper scissors. Oops. Except I think my you know, dang. Yeah. Who beat Chuck Norris and Jet Li? Yeah, Jet, it was either Bruce Lee or Jet Li. I don't remember which one. Did you know that Jet Li was born by people mixing jet fuel with? I didn't know where I was going with that, but they mix jet fuel with another chemical and then jet lee just arose. Steel beams? Yeah, steel beams. That works. <laughs> I was singing a song with the word jet lee in it. Jet fuel can't 
melt still being so uh, your whole nine eleven thirty eight just out of there. There's no, they're there. not melted. They're fused together. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, like nine eleven. <laughs> like, 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 like when you see that airplane hit the fucking thing and, and then, then it, just, it, 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 it just disappears. It just disappears. Yeah. It just disappears yeah. And, and, and like, doesn't come out the other side. I was like, <laughs> I was like seven. Because it didn't hit it. I was like seven yeah. years yeah. old. That shit happened, dude. Precise. I remember waking up. How old were you? I was seven years old when nine eleven happened, dude. I remember waking up. Get ready to <laughs> walking out to my grandma because I was living in California with my grandma. I went out there and like she had a room and like uh, she had like two living rooms in her house, like one in the back and she had one up front. And my mom and dad were discussing something and like I go out there and I just see a replay of these towers getting hit and then all of a sudden my mom and dad called uh, the school to tell them that I wasn't attending today because my dad was super uh, fucking uh, paranoid uh, they were going to hit us in California for no good reason and they had an automated <laughs> system that said click one if your child is attending school and click two if your child is not attending school really day of <laughs> like oh, how wow. the fuck do they have that already set up yeah like, that's like, wow. yeah that's yeah. that's a good like they had that shit planned. It's because Ninja Chuck Norris was the principal of that school. Nah, yeah. Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris can't do shit. See a lot of people. It's because, well, it's because Bush and all of the people that were sucking his penis knew. Did not allow Monica Lewinsky. Not allowed. It was an inside I job. I think that was Clinton. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, nine eleven was not just an to. inside job. 9-11 was also an outside job. That's the but main the, takeaway. The inside. The inside was on the outside, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it only takes so much thermite to well, blow up a steel building. <coughs> All the guts they, ended up on the outside. Yeah, and they had, <coughs> they had like, so when they collapse a building, right, they put, like, what's that explosive? What's that explosive? C4? Oh, yeah, they put that on the building's beams, and they, you know, that's how they explode. You just jigs. Continue. <laughs> they explode a building downward so that it doesn't affect the surrounding property. And if you watch the it videos, exploded downwards. it goes downwards. It would have fallen over. A fucking plane hit it. The top would have fallen off. The bottom would have burned a bit, but they would have been able to put it out. The rest of the building would have been secure. And there oh, was two geez. towers hit, by the way. Two towers hit. Right. Both towers, though, would have done They would have went at a slanted angle, and they would have fell. The top part would have burned up and fell down and hit surrounding buildings. Yeah. The bottom part would have stayed burning. Until they could put it out because it would have been then a controlled fire. They could have put it out from above or whatever. I am just in a state of shock. It fell <laughs> straight down. It did. That's a good point. It uh, fell straight down from the bottom. In Waterloo, they actually, when I came up in seventh grade, they had a video about how 9-11 was an inside job. And they were showing the conspiracy theory to all the kids in my class. Me. But you had to get a permission slip from your parents. My dad refused to sign that permission slip. So See, I never got to watch the video. For us, that was sex ed at that. that. Yeah. <laughs> See, if you, if you went to school in Waterloo, that was just part of the curriculum. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like what they taught you. Yeah. Just like uh, home, home room, they yeah. showed those videos. Yeah. I think uh, uh, on on nine eleven, those videos just played through the hallways all day long. Yeah. Uh, I was in no, California at the time. When another, thing that, another thing they teach you in Waterloo no, like is to go happened. inside and lock the door when cops are around the block. Annually. On oh, so it's like. They just keep showing those yeah. conspiracy theories. I get what you're saying, but like, honestly, like, who cares about 9 11 anymore? We got yes. all these terrorists that are coming in here illegally Dude, blowing shit up. At least one. We have seen the Avengers. We have seen Wonder Woman in live action. We have so much that we have accomplished since 9-11. No, I'm saying, like, <laughs> in, in other countries, at least one incident that is worse than 9-11 happens daily. Oh, yeah. Not, yes, not in, like, you can't take, like, you can't take from that that, like, in Paris an event happens every single day. Oh, yeah. But if you look at it statistically... In some country, somewhere, there's probably something that's happening that's worse than 9-11 oh, right yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right now. Even in people's day-to-day -day lives. Like, not everyone's. But, like, Chuck Norris, bad divorce. Yeah. And then he's probably, you know, getting calls from his managers, like, do you want to be in the next uh, wood-chipping punching bag? Oh, yeah, I'll take that role. I'm going through a bad divorce. You know, I got to pay child support. Do you want to be the next uh, live-action roadrunner? And uh, Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson from Harry Potter are going to make the click, and they're going to be dressed up as cows sprung alongside you. You know, all sorts of crazy shit. What were the things? 
When the fuck did pigs get brought into the equation, Mercedes? There are hey. pigs in that movie. <laughs> oh, are there? Yeah, there are <laughs> pigs in that movie. Who are going to be the pigs? Well, I'd assume Rupert Grint, the one Harry Potter cast member I didn't say because there's only three of them. He said he would not work with the real Harry Potter anymore because Rupert, whoever the fuck, is on drugs and Harry Potter brought a gun into, a, into like a crowded area. <laughs> Oh my god. Did you not remember that? No, I didn't hear about that. He was that. like, well, he <laughs> at like a movie theater or some shit, like, brought out a gun and was going fucking the, the insane. The Dark Knight Rises? No. no. <laughs> I like how they have the shooting in the movie. Man, James real live yeah. action. Yeah. Yeah. Real free. Real free. Real free. Yeah. It's like, Mom, it's, I can see the bullets. You know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> before, before 4K was a thing, 4D was a cool thing. Yeah, right, right. yeah, yeah. James Holmes that. is also pretty interesting to study. You watch any of those videos? I relate to Scary Me a lot, you know, about how he can't remember the gunfire. I don't remember the gunfire. I don't remember putting the bullets in the gun. I don't remember pulling the trigger. No, this is some Matrix shit. <laughs> yeah. Are you confessing to something? Because you're on tape. I'm confessing to 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> so you were the inside yeah. job. Yeah, what did you have to sign to get that position? Approximately two and a half. Two and a half? Yep. I don't Was know. it the half? Was push? half? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that a bush? It was due to his bush, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was oh, bush like because it. of a bush. You like the male version of Monica, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. I, I don't know. There's just something about a bush. You know, it's just, ah, uh, yeah. Not Especially my mouth. Especially when it's growing moss. Not you know, my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> not, 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 bush, my mouth. not in my mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the new South Dakota tagline, meth. We are on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so fucked up. I know. I don't, under that, I don't understand that. What is, what are, they have like billboards and posters and t-shirts that says meth, we're on it. <laughs> and it's an anti-meth. <laughs> is, it, is this saying that South Dakota is so bad that they're being like, everybody here in South Dakota is on meth, so I'm don't do sure meth? I'm pretty sure that's what it is because like, or is some it of like, the posters that may be a farmer. In oh, some really? of the posters it's like some high school kids. In some of them it's like a teacher. In oh other God. ones it's like... You know, they're fucking mayor. Or, like, or is it like, meth, we are trying to bust it? I think that it's saying that the people in the pictures are on it, so you need to watch for the clues. Oh, you know, okay. that, that's what I kind of took away from it. Like, anybody can be on meth. Have they even explained it, or is it I, just being... I'm sure they have. We could probably yeah, Google it. We should Google Meth, we're on <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. On it, to Google Meth, we're Next on it. Next thing you know, being up, boys come up, meth. <laughs> <laughs> They're breaking in the store like, we heard something about. Where yeah. we get the free meth? Uh, we heard y'all were on meth. We're also on meth. Can we partake in your meth? Yeah, <laughs> I would love to partake in your meth. Yeah, oh my she God. Put meth around. <laughs> I swear. I'm, they just need to change their slogan to, we heard you have meth. Can we do something? <laughs> yes. I like that a lot better. I think now they need to set... like one country actually decriminalizing like all drugs and making all drugs legal? Yeah, you know what it's it's, no, not, not, it's <laughs> not that they're legal, it's that they're decriminalized. So like if you're found yeah. with... As long as you're not distributing it, I think, as long as you're not selling it, you don't get taken to the cop shop, you get taken to like a doctor. Which makes little to no sense. No, it makes more sense because then you can go to the but doctor who's gonna distribute and they can it give then? you the Narcan. I mean, here they're in taking, Iowa, they're taking they're taking the distributors to prison where they can still distribute. You know, here in Waterloo, we got a, a dispensary. They can still right? distribute. Yeah, but it, that, that's no, not no really doctor, like no doctor in the state of Iowa is certified to give you any prescription for medical marijuana or CBD oil. So, like, it's not technically legal in Iowa. It's not, and but they but have we a, have a dispensary. We have a dispensary in here in Waterloo. How are we making any profit? We're not. We're not. <laughs> are we? Are we just? Want you to look in there. You know, they want to get robbed, is all they really want. <laughs> and, and you know see, how hard it would be potential. to rob a dispensary, though? Like, I mean, have you ever been to the yeah, front door? Like, they yeah. got like a whole locked door, and then it's just like you got to slide your ID under a thing and they inspect it to make sure it's right. Then they slide it back, and then they judge you about if you could come into their dispensary. I don't think it would be that hard. You just got to. I don't know about a weapon. No, I yeah. should just. No, it's, it's like the Ten Oklahoma 12. bombing, man. You ever hear about that one? The Oklahoma City oh, bombing? Oh, yeah. Where the dude took all that manure and that explosive and blew up like half a fucking yeah. city block. Yeah, while well, they were married. Watch the fucking document yeah. on that. That guy was fucking smart. Yeah, he was. He was fucking <laughs> 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 
Most people. That guy was so terrible. <laughs> Cody, <laughs> I strive to be. That guy, that guy was intelligent. Well, in the military, he was trained to disarm explosives, so it's not like he didn't know how to build explosives when your military career is literally surrounded by But I don't think explosives. that's what the military had to in mind for him. Probably not. Maybe, though. Well, we don't know. Like Maybe they're part of the hey, It only took him a week to catch him. Did it really? Yeah, it's like a week or like three days to catch him. It was like they traced down the U-Haul. <coughs> where he fucked up is he put the U-Haul in his name. What? He had his address on it. So, like, yeah. That's where he goes from being smart to being, yeah, that's yeah. Where he from being a smart ass to a dumbass. Yeah. Real quick. The smart thing was taking it out of all them fucking windows yeah. and them mud yeah. crickets. But, yeah. like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, he did. He he did. He did a good job. I'd give that one a ten. I, I wouldn't give it a ten. I think the on the uh, explosive part, I'd give it like a seven. But the getting caught within a short oh, period of time would like definitely two. be a one. Yeah, that yeah. would be a one. Yeah. You gotta be smarter than that. If yeah, you're like me, you know, me and Cody over here playing out. Hey, yeah, I ain't playing out shit. We're recording. Uh, oh yeah. Well, let me stop it and then we'll yeah, we'll, 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 we'll start, start the conversation another <laughs> time. There. <laughs> Is there a video from F4 on it? Yeah, I I'd hope. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. All those people are on What the fuck? <laughs> that is wow, the wow. that is the weirdest ad campaign I've seen in a long time. <laughs> Matt, I'm on meth. We are on it. <laughs> that is funny shit. I think shit. they should head up Oman with that merchandise. Yeah, yeah. we should make a parody video where we're all like, Meth, I'm on it. <laughs> no, I just feel like Meth, I'm not on it. <laughs> No. <laughs> the, first, the first fucking line in this article, you want to know what it is? What? South Dakota is on meth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. I mean, they make it a hard case to argue that they're not on meth. I'll give them that. I mean, you yeah. Know, <laughs> they're, 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 clearly, they're not actually on meth. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, their face would be all sunken and shit. Yeah, yeah. It's really bad, especially when they're. Well, hit. it depends on if you're like a consistent. But I guess with meth, you basically always are a consistent loser. Oh, well, there's high functioning drug users, and then there's not like people that just can't handle their shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's a problem when you Ooh. can admit it, that you're yeah. addicted to it. Yeah. If you can perform like any task, then it's it's a problem, but it's not a problem yeah, because. Yeah, yeah. A functioning addict is different than like a Yeah, addict. that's what I'm trying to get at. A functioning addict can still go to work, yeah. go do stuff with his kids. What, what you do behind closed yeah. doors as long as it's not affecting me, I don't give a shit about. But yeah. when you come out, you're tweaking hard and you're like yeah. trying to steal from me and trying to hurt, harm my yeah. family or something yeah. like that. Yep. Shooting up in front of my daughter. That sort of thing. Yeah. That's where you're... That's just like... That's when you <clears> should be... That's when I broke just up. Like, uh, when, just, I, when I was living up there in Hawaii... At that house, yeah. you and Gabe was like, blazing them. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Chancho would come up into my room, and literally, like, I'd be sitting there playing Destiny 2, and I look over, and there's a fucking needle stuck into his fucking arm, rejecting it. And I'm, and I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? Like, I kicked him right out of my fucking house for that. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. Why would you? <clears throat> yeah. Do I know you? <laughs> do, do I? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that's the type of addict where they really well, need fucking help. The, like, the podcast is a great platform to show that shirt on Mercedes because <laughs> nobody can see it. <laughs> Mercedes just uh, took off her sweatshirt and showed her actual shirt, which is a picture of a dog sniffing another dog's ass. And it says the words, do I know you? With a question mark. <laughs> Listen, my grandfather was a smart person. <laughs> he had cool clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm not dissing the shirt. I love this shirt. No, this is my favorite shirt. This I is just, one of my I, favorite shirts in the world. I just love it whenever I'm here in a podcast and people are saying something about someone else's appearance. And it's like, I wish I could see them right now. <laughs> Listen, we can, we can describe it in detail. It's like a, a faded black kind of navy blue plain shirt except for I would the, say that's the, uh military green. No, it's like dark blue. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely dark, like dark blue. blue. <laughs> it's like dark navy blue and all of there's no other colors on it except for white and it's just the dog. Well the dogs have some black. Let's not be racist. No, it's it a black that's, that's the same color. It is not the same color. It is the same color. I have twenty so dogs can't have vision. navy blue marks. I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> There's no logic in it. It's the same yeah, color no. as the shirt. 
Me and Cody both have to respect this. I see black. Do you guys know the difference between different reds, though? No. So if you don't, then maybe you should just fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Can you look at, you know, a color of lipstick and another one that's very identical, like, identical but not the same? And well, tell me the difference between I, them? I, if I not... Shut up. I have 2015 okay. vision, so I can tell you just about anything. 2015? Yeah. One of my eyes is a little bit slower than the other. I, got um, I actually think that if, if the second number is higher, I think. Well, wait, wait. The second number is, is lower. Yeah, so you have really good eyesight if the second yeah, number is yeah, lower. Yeah, yeah, which is what, I, which is what yeah. I'm living with. I got, yeah. I got told I got perfect vision, but I still yeah. can't find stuff that's lying right out in front of me. Well, I think that's just the haze <laughs> that the mind puts on your body. I swear, like, I can't read what that says. I know it says the Godfather because, like, the picture, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't read it, it's, actually. I can't make out any of the things. Well, have you seen the Godfather? And by the way, right now we are talking about a picture frame. Once again, the podcast <laughs> audience can't see it. Have you seen that scene from the Godfather? Uh, it is a quote that is used relatively close to that scene in The Godfather. So. I have not seen The Godfather. Don't quote me. Get the I hell out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen it. it says, well, we just got the song. Okay, <laughs> both of you. <laughs> I'm well, going well, to finish this podcast on my own. <laughs> it's just like snoring. Yeah. It, yeah. It says, uh, make him an offer he can't refuse. No, I've heard that before. Listen, but I But you know, couldn't I've, fucking read it, huh? No, I can't. I really can't. <laughs> you know what I can't read? Once again, we're discussing items in the house to a podcast, to a microphone. Listen, that that Hulk over there sleep. has some yellow font, and I cannot make that out for the life of me. I have not been able to make that out for the life of me. That is my roommate's bear that he got for Father's Day, which is, uh, yeah, he's a father okay. of two dogs and a small child. Okay. <clears throat> as smart as Iron Man. Well, Iron Man's not even fucking smart. He's pretty fucking smart. I'd like you to see all the shit he's built? Uh, I'd like to argue I'm a little bit more smart. You know smart. how much money he has? He's just like Batman. Just super expensive shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like, do you know how much shit he built? He built shit that could like... Save the world. world hunger and just gave it away because he was like, you know what? I don't even need the money that I can make from this. Just... Take it. That's why I don't... Just take it. <laughs> okay. This is trash. But, this is trash to but, me. But, but, I'm building super suits, <laughs> and that's what I would make my money on. But put your shoes... World hunger, take it. Put yourself in the shoes of a very rich man, white man, with a goatee that is nicely trimmed. I can't put my shoes... <laughs> I, can't I can't put my, put my shoes, shoes on. Myself. I can't put my shoes on a white man. My feet are too small. <laughs> okay. Well, put some fucking wood in the tips and then put your foot in and squeeze in the rest of the way. If you were a billionaire, <laughs> wouldn't you get bored as fuck and start building shit all the time, too? That's what I'm saying. Iron yeah. Man was bored and, yeah, like, and he just did shit. solved the world's problems and just said, okay, I spent all this money, I spent all this time, I spent all this effort, my brain power, fixing all of the world's problems. Here you have it for free. But I, I don't need it anymore. Throw it in the <laughs> bucket bucket. I, you know I'm what just I mean? saying that I think his, his his smartness didn't come from naturality. It was like no, it did. I'm bored as shit. I'm gonna research Wikipedia for five six hours, and then I'm gonna hit this uh, bar. I don't know. Well, I, first of I all, no man. one's born knowing everything, right? right. Uh, Iron Man. Popeye is... knew quite a bit about the ocean. Peter Pan knew quite a bit about Lever, ne- Lever Dan. Never Okay. <laughs> Never okay. <laughs> I mean, Listen. Batman just... What about baby his... geniuses? They were born fucking geniuses. No, but see, that's still due to outside circumstances. That's because their mothers, while they were in utero, Not a word, fed but them Einstein quotes and fucking read them books and played them Mozart. Well, my that's mother... how kids come out smart. Come out of the vagina... Talking. My mother ate a lot of That's spinach how. when I was in the womb, and I did not end up nearly as bulky as Popeye. That's because spinach is actually probably bad for you. <laughs> don't quote me, I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't like spinach. I don't either, I don't either. I, I like, like spinach on certain things. Mm, yeah. You ever had spinach artichoke dip? I don't like artichoke Boy. or spinach, so I would rather choke on my own spit than eat spinach artichoke dip. Oh, uh, what if I just projectile vomit all over <laughs> everything right then? <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I would have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Why? You fucked up my stream. Get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that would be some really cool ASMR, though. You could, like, split <laughs> like, just that but, sound. But the sad, yeah, but the sad <laughs> part is, we once again, it would not be on camera, so the audience would not be able to fully enjoy it. No, but they'd be able to hear it, and that's, that's yeah. what you want to do. Should we just fake it? Okay. <laughs> but you don't get the sound of the chunks hitting the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. There's, just a, the there's just a big audio spike. Yeah, that's like, yeah, just, yeah, that's just, it's just the tip of the mic. When you just the tip. Just what about, the what tip. about some of this? It's terrible ASMR. <laughs> I'll deal with it. Zero out of ten stars. I'll, I'll, I'll give him a negative five. No, what you gotta do is you gotta go. We're gonna go through some really fun ASMR. Here's the microphone scratching. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I see why I see why people get turned on. <laughs> people listen to that shit to go to sleep. People make millions of dollars eating pickles in front of a camera. You know what I think would be with really, really high. You, you like, know what I think on. would be the best ASMR, like especially for those attracted to it sexually, describing how a TV is built. So first, you, no, you take, gotta talk even quieter. Ah, so first, you take your even LED, quiet. your LED screen, and you compose quieter, it. Though. You compose it into the size you want. You gotta talk like this, right? Into the microphone, right, into the microphone just like this. Yeah, just with a soft voice. You gotta whisper even quieter. Not like as quietly as you can whisper, but really close to the microphone. A voice as soft as my mother's hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I give up with the whole ASMR thing. I got famous off of it for about 17 seconds. You describe how TV is made. Rick is being a little bitch at the moment. <laughs> I'm really sorry he's not able to provide you with the right ASMR style and quality. Here's another microphone scratch for your discomfort. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like just turning on a ceiling fan and throwing my cat at it. <laughs> and I'm just saying that because of the fact that ASMR got me so sexually aroused. That is one of my favorite things to do during the climax. Is to take a cat and just catapult it. No pun intended. Oh, I mean, like, straight at either the wall or preferably a moving ceiling fan moving on top. No, she gotta go big or go home. She gets thrown <laughs> through a window of a two-story house and you see if they land on their feet. And if they don't, well, then it's not your problem. It's not a real cat. Yeah, only <laughs> cats always. That's one of those thing. dumbass bread cats. Yeah, that's one like, of the Down syndrome like cats. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> your Down syndrome cat will not land on its foot, its feet. It's. He's actually the fastest. We're gonna name him Lightning. Oh. Because he's the quickest out of all the kittens. You should name him Bull, based off of the Disney film. No, because that's a dog, Mike! <laughs> and it's trademarked, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I learned a lesson there. Don't step on Mercedes' toes when it comes to naming a child or an animal. When, but yeah, when you are real going, tell Gabe that because when, he's going to have a problem. When you and Gabe are pregnant. impregnated. Pregnante. When Gabe is pregnant, yeah. <laughs> and you guys, when Gabe is pregnant, yeah. And you guys are on the verge of having your little... Four-eyed His, her... <laughs> for a <for a> monster <laughs> with with eighteen nostrils and seven mouths, <laughs> it's um, thirty two ears. Am I doing my math wrong? One ears, <laughs> seven nostrils, three mouths. Okay. Four eyes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Arms. No. <laughs> <laughs> His arms stay the same. <laughs> a hundred arms like a centipede. Yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> Right, but, I guess it would be 50 arms and 50 legs. That, that would be hard, though, because then every night before you went to sleep to make sure you didn't have any bad boo-boos, you'd have to count all the arms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, oh. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36, I fucked up. Did you and then know, you have to go back to the beginning. Did you know Because I guarantee you, you and Gabe will both fuck up counting. How you figure out if you have a good lung capacity? How? If you have a good lung capacity, you can count to a hundred in one breath. Really? Yeah. Like even if you're counting like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like even if you're counting really fast, you should be able to do it with just 
What's your different? Like that? I can't even get to like 20. I bet, I, bet, <laughs> I bet Eminem can get to like a thousand. Maybe. I bet it's up there. Yeah. Well, they are vocalists. Yeah. I mean, and I try to consistently run to improve my breath, but it obviously doesn't do shit. Probably because of all the nicotine. <laughs> uh, that's just a bitch work saying, you're going to smoke more cigarettes, bud. Yeah, and I, 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 that is what I intend to do. If you smoke enough cigarettes, you <laughs> can transcend above needing air. Kind of like an angel. Yeah. No, I always wanted my lungs. Yeah, your, lo- your lungs died. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what that <laughs> you know, I, 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 I might be on my agenda at some point in my life. Get a little bit of lung cancer. You have see, it fail. Kill I, me. I think it's really weird because like, I can smoke a cigarette no, like, like no other mother, brother. But like today when I was at work, I walked out on the rooftop and the wind just blew in my face and it instantly blew down my throat and hit my lungs. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> Yeah, I was like, breath need air, me now, room oxygen. <laughs> and I grabbed my oxygen tank that is just always handy on my back, and I of threw course. it on. And I realized that the mouthpiece has been missing for about two months. So you just huff oxygen right out of the tank. You, yep, you puncture yep, a hole yep, in the side just, of it, and I you just go. The hole. And the best part is, I didn't even have a pocket knife. I just used my thumb. Put it straight through the metal, just very similar to Chuck Norris in his great movie Terminator 2, Judgment Day, where he's head blind and starred before he was the government go- governor of uh, California. I just fucked up all that shit. You're thinking of... <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, Arnie, 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 me. Why didn't you know his name? He didn't even know his name. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I Why just, didn't you know which one he was? I'm just throwing in some shots. He's probably on my phone right now texting me about bitches and hoes and dogs and cats. And, I mean, it's, it's it couldn't be as bad as the fact that our president has a Russian mail order bride. Yeah, exactly. Or that our president told a bunch of 11 victims and families, go ahead and get up here. I don't know if it'll support all of us. Watch out, we might fall down. Did he actually do that? Oh yeah, like God. he was talking about him getting up on stage and how like the stage might not be able to support all of their weight or some shit. Jesus Like Christ. to a bunch of 9-11 victims and families. Like That's listen, I, the victims I can kind of understand, right? Because like military and like people who have gone through like post-traumatic stress people make fun of their own shit. Like, you'll make fun of what happened to you, for sure. Yeah. It's a, but the it's families, a of... like, the, the children who lost their parents yeah. at, like, you know what I mean? Like, one to seven yeah. years old or whatever. Yeah, that's horrid. That's mean. That's mean. That's mean. Yeah. And as a president, that's the other thing, too. Like, as the president, you should That's why I have no respect for him. You shouldn't do that as the president. Like, yeah. if he was just a normal guy and said that, yeah. it would be like, oh, that guy's an asshole, what the fuck ever, like, yeah, that just fine, like, okay, fine, okay. Yeah. But the president on camera in front of millions of people, like, sh- like streaming or, like, you know, Yeah, see, that's why, that's why I don't like people. him. If I feel like if he were to walk in this room right now, because me and him often play golf together, I feel if like... If you don't like him, <laughs> why do you play golf with him, Mike? It's a competitive Your story's- sport. It's a competitive sport. <laughs> I feel like if you were to walk in the room right now, you would do nothing but judge us. You know, you would be like, Cody, you have a hood on and you're not... Cody, you have schizophrenia. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. Cody's schizophrenia for a reason. I've accepted (laughs) it. One time... (laughs) Listen. (laughs) I brought... Do you remember when I got the the frosting out of the fridge? And I grabbed a spoon and I was just going to go to town (laughs) at it. You know, I'm a fat girl. It's fine. I walked out into the living room and I said... Cody, you have schizophrenia. You can't judge me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and I sat down and said, you can't judge me. Yeah, I don't know. One day, and that's my a animal full personalities, because that's a fate, my fate as Scott for me. And if I become one of the most full personalities, I hope I don't become gay. <laughs> Just, I hope you do. <laughs> Just to teach I your ass a lesson. I like, your real personality, this personality, is going to be sitting in the back of the room in your head. Just like, why can't I take control back? He's taking it in the ass! <laughs> why is he the one? <laughs> oh my god. Like, I'm a the fuck out in the, in the quiet room. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, I just turn into like some just ditzy broad and I'm just like, <laughs> become drag queen or some shit. You're a power bottom, I'm buddy. A power I can bo- see it. 
Or like, one, I go out on a blackout bender because of all the voices became personalities and they were taking turns and I wake up one day with a vagina and a pair of tits and I'm like, well, what the fuck? How much did this cost? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how did I afford this? How the fuck is my penis gone? How long have I been out because it's full of <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Did I go into a coma? Did I go into a coma? Does this make me lesbian now? <laughs> yes, it does. I, Do I have to take one? I would say from experience, yes, it does. Oh, so what? you you often take it in the ass? Uh, no, no, I'm talking about the part where you wake up and the surgery's been done. Oh, so how many different surgeries have you had on your head? Oh, tell numerous, you? numerous, numerous. So, Gabe senses uh, love. Oh, tell Gabe I love him. So does that mean like Cody? Oh, what? Your boyfriend sends his love to you. Well, I love him too. God. Uh, Tell him me and Cody will meet him in the bedroom at 3. He gets off at 1. Why won't he be there until 3? Me and Cody got shit to do. We got a Bitches to screw. We got a group. Fuck bitches. Get food stamps, man. As much as I do. Isn't that right? We fuck fuck bitches and we claim food stamps. And we claim food stamps. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the only thing that can upgrade from fuck bitches get food stamps is to open up a orphanage. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a plainly really good idea. You have hose. I'd like to open up an abortion center because I have numerous metal coat hangers just sitting around that I have nothing. See, to do I always thought if I opened up an abortion clinic, I would just use the Captain Falcon way of dealing with it. I love how you often think about whether or not you're gonna open up an abortion center. <laughs> <laughs> like I, you're just sitting in your room late at night, like, damn, should I? Is that a good investment? Yeah. Are people uh, gonna invest back? I think. We Am I gonna totally, make money? We should totally fuck with an abortion center and go there and be like, hey, I locked my keys in my car. Can I borrow a coat hanger? And then when they're like, no, we don't got none. We're like, oh yeah, you do. Check your back room. <laughs> like you didn't check hard enough, dude. That's <laughs> you got the supplies. You said, oh yeah. You <laughs> yeah, <do."> yeah, <laughs> you do. We we are still living in the 1930s. Um, girls still drink bleach to abort their fetuses, actually. Did, do you hey, not know that? If you're going to take a shot of bleach, you've got to take a line of Ajax and a dab of Tide Pods before you can get anywhere getting Swifty. Everyone knows that. You ever had, um, flavored bleach? Flavored bleach? They make uh, all different flavors now. Do they really? Yeah, it's jungle juice. Like summer citrus? Yeah, like, like lemon. Yeah. See, breeze, that, part- that partially makes me want to try it. But I it know, good. yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure the smell is all there. But I, I'm on a health kick. <laughs> Bleach is the healthiest thing for you. I've been well. Maybe it'll drain out my system. Yeah, maybe I should try it. But I just it's, been, it's like a full body. How many cleanse. how many calories are we at with bleach right now? Zero. Oh, zero. Oh, perfect. Yeah, no carbohydrates in it okay. either. I mean, yeah, no well, calories, no sugars. Guess no what's replacing my fucking Kool Aid then? Bleach. I swear, it's it's better for you than Powerade because it also has no sodium. And you probably don't even need a refrigerator. Um, mm. it's better if you refrigerate it, kind of like Red Bull. Oh, okay. They just taste better cold. Is it like vodka? Does it freeze if I put it in the freezer? Like if I had to rush to work and no. I need to put it in the freezer? Oh, perfect. Uh, you know, you get a flash for it too, you know? Just yeah. like when you're on the job, just start taking drinks of bleach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, t- oh. I told Gabe that you said that you'll see him at three for your orgy. <laughs> and he said, no, he will not. I told Sarah I would talk to him at three, so he best rescheduled that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't ask him if four works. Say, can they fit into your schedule? Can they fit into your anus <laughs> at four? When can they fit into your ass? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He <laughs> <laughs> has to be on work. Uh, on, uh, on he's on break, yeah. yeah. He's on break. He's having a shit day at work, so I'm sure this is making it way better. <laughs> yeah. They keep finding plastic in the meat, though. Well, yeah. that's just not right. Yeah, people yeah, are man- sabotaging shit. So what do yeah, they have the to do, man, so I cut it up and cut it out of the meat? Gabe's not the bottom. Which makes sense, because he has no ass. <laughs> I'm so. definitely not playing bottom last time. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I didn't even get a chance to do that thing. Mike poke will our nose. take one for the Oh, my, okay. I'm going to add three schedule. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because you're, you're going to be power bottom. You're going to be power bottom. That's just... I'll, okay. play, I'll play power ball with you, but not power bottom. No, power man. Ball. Yeah, power ball. Like the, <laughs> I like say the power, lottery? I say power <laughs> ball. Mercedes eyes light up, and she's like, I'm a gambling addict. Yeah, <laughs> <literally>. <laughs> 
What, what are we gambling on? We gambling we gambling on uh, 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 how many zebras are in an ostrich cage? Did you know that, that there was a zebra born with dots instead of stripes? Like Their zebra sounds a little bit similar to my father. Polka My father polka actually dots. has polka dots all over his face. <sighs> polka dots. Polka dots. dots. I agree. Cody, how Can't be tomorrow. Can't be tomorrow? Fuck. All right. Tell him to fax me the information. Fax. <laughs> Mike, a dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell him if it's that. I want to email. I want to get it sooner. No, it's coming by fax. That way it's printed and you can hang it up on your ceiling for when you jack can off. He, can it. he fax and email it? You know what I'm saying? I like the thought. I like the care. But can he, can he email it and fax it? No, because if he, At least if he emails case. it, you might be able to like save it to your computer. And I that. would never. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't trust you. I don't, even, I don't even have a computer. What the fuck are you doing with that right there? Uh, That's a computer, buddy. <laughs> Ain't bullshit nobody. That the is... podcast ends right here with like a loud bang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. it's the mic hitting the floor and Mike yeah. running off the door yeah. with the computer. See you guys. <laughs> you were saying... This was the end of the podcast. <laughs> <and I'm laughs> this, this is... Uh, that's that's my phone. It's a pretty big phone. Where'd you get yeah. that? Uh, Spencer's. <laughs> Spencer's? I triple dog dare you to make a call off that right now. Oh, it's possible. Triple dog dare you to make a call off of it right now, not using the internet. Or my phone. <laughs> Wait a second, <laughs> shit. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> caught you right here! I was caught You only had one job and you got fucked <laughs> up, Mike. Um, he said he would not fax you a dick pic nor email it. Hmm. Ask him what, it's, what his schedule's looking like for Saturday. <laughs> um, he has to work. Well, this is just a bunch of poor shit. Tell him yeah, I'll be Sunday there. Off. I'll be there at three. <laughs> I said he's still coming. I'm gonna spell it coming. <laughs> at three. Coming like Alan coming. Like coming like what game makes you? Yeah, new like 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 Alan coming. Yeah. He was an actor. I don't. I think he might have been bored. You guys ever, uh, ever wonder what ever happened to that Jared guy from Subway? I heard Did that he, he went on to great do things. I don't know what he like. He just I, like I thought he got like killed in prison. Someone should look that up. Hey Siri. Oh wait, you're not. Jared iPhone. from Subway. Oh Mercedes will be our Googler today. I didn't get that. Rude. <laughs> what happened to Jared from Subway? <laughs> Here's what I found. Jared Fogel. Yeah. Is that his name? Fogel or something. F-O-G-L. What a fucking stupid name. Convicted of sexual offenses against minors after... We already knew that part. Was he at least murdered? Like most pedophiles should be? I don't know. If not, you want to do it tonight? We can have our own little fucking thing. Ah, uh, oh, shit, we're recording. That's right. No, we, we, can't, we can't yeah. really... Com- Kind of, you know, well, we, we, gotta, we gotta make it sound good on the podcast, but once it ends recording, then we'll play our big attempt. Nah, man, our best bet is, I know where this place is in Waterloo, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this gas main, I'm just saying, one fire arrow to the right spot, blew up the whole fucking block. Can you have one of these? He's not dead, but he can't get out until July 11th, 2029. That's shockingly close to 9-11. July 11th? Oh, you're, you're, like the gas station? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet he's going to go so to the So he only got a short way. term sentence for fucking little kids. He was kids. convicted in 2015, so that's actually a pretty long one. For <laughs> 14. I mean. 14 years. Uh, Bunker only got 12. Ted Bundy only got like life. <laughs> and all, and whole only served 10. Then is Ted Bundy dead? I would love to meet him. Wanna go piss on his grave? Yeah, let's go piss on his grave. Who else's grave are we gonna piss on? Let's just go cash. find a random cemetery and start pissing everywhere. Yeah, there's only a few tombstones that I refuse to piss on. Nah, I wouldn't want to disrespect the dead like that. Grandfather. Next thing you know, I'll have another voice in my head. Well, well this just took a dark turn. Cody, how do you deal with the how do I deal with the conference meeting in my fucking head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's difficult. It is difficult. What's my name? 
Slim Shady. I don't know who you are. Stop you doing tell me. that. How difficult on a scale one to ten? Well, see, when you're like got like a shit ton of voices in your head and like you try to think of doing something, but then you have like twenty fucking points of views yeah. on it, and it's just like. That is fucking hilarious, by the way. But <laughs> it, it's hard because when you battle schizophrenia, like, you can't control what you hear or see. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. And sometimes, like, I don't know, I feel like whenever I go out at night to smoke cigarettes when they go to bed, I always have to check around the fucking... I, like, go walk down the pathway and then I look along the parking lot. And then I always feel like I see something out there. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> I'm, so sorry. Uh, this is, I'm so sorry. I know you're trying to be serious, but you said the word yeah, cigarette. And I, I was know. like, oh, cigarette. I know, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I mean, like, I always I always <laughs> check over in the parking lot because I always see, like, black shadowy figures. And That's the case. Yeah. Mm. Not when they're, like, human shaped. That's Denzel. Yeah, it's probably That's Denzel Washington wearing his green suit. <laughs> Did you hear what my phone said to me? What did it say? Will you repeat that? You're Mercedes, but since we're friends, I get to call you our Did you set it up to do that? Yeah. That's good shit. Please say my full name. <laughs> Your name is Mercedes Neeson, but you also go by her. her, 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 her. <laughs> Sounds like he's trying to have an orgasm. <laughs> Put that up to the microphone for ASMR right now. <laughs> I'll do it. Is this is this the volume I want to be at? Are you quiet? It's like it's quiet, but it's even talk. It's quiet. It's so quiet. We can all go through this. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna let you guys in on a little secret. If you type E H R E E H R. E H E H E H E H E H E H R R R E H R E E E H R R E E and you know just kind of repeat that a bunch of times. This is gonna happen. Siri, could you please repeat that? This is an ASMR brought to you by Mercedes. Your name is Mercedes Neeson, but you also go by her 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 Oh my god. That is funny I shit. Learn You're a delight. <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. Is there something? <laughs> that is great. Give you my first compliment. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mike, have you heard the zero divided by zero one? Yes, yeah. I love that. <laughs> <sighs> what are other fun things you can say to Siri? Google it quick. You don't Google have an iPhone, quick. so it won't Siri! <laughs> what fun things can I say to you? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll be right back. I gotta go blow my nostrils. Tell me a joke. Why I'm does Chicago sure. carry an umbrella? Full drizzle. <laughs> Mike, did you hear that? No, I did not. Please repeat that. Why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? Full drizzle. <laughs> Tell me a joke. I was so late to the cannibal banquet. They just gave me the cold shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about with your schizophrenia? Siri, what's the definition of schizophrenia? I am interested in this. Schizophrenia means a long term mental disorder of a type involving a breakdown in the relation between thought, emotion, and behavior, leading to faulty perception, inappropriate actions, and feelings. Withdrawal from reality and personal relationships into fantasy and delusion, and a sense of mental fragmentation. Please. That sounds a lot like. What is zero way. divided by zero? Then <laughs> 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 you have zero cookies, and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies, and you are sad that you have no friends. <laughs> That this schizophrenia sounds a lot like a lot of like people that have done as quite a few times. Yeah, well, you can be you can be, be drug induced drug drug schizophrenic, but I was schizophrenic genetically passed yeah, down. I, yeah, so it's a little different. Yeah, but like, doesn't that kind of sound like what acid kind of does to you during and the initial meth. trip? And meth. 
Yeah. Oh, and meth? Okay. Pretty much any drug that, like, severely alters you. Like, I don't think weed can really cause it, but any kind of hallucinogen <coughs> or... Yeah, especially... I think especially Molly, honestly, can cause, like... Yeah. yeah. That shit's hardcore. I don't know. When you see demons chasing you, and you don't know where to run, it's not a fun thing. I like to travel at the speed of light. So we might get pulled over. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. <coughs> no, I'm loving these. I'm drunk. Can you drive? Are you actually drunk? Maybe I'm doing right. You better find someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before you guys Do aliens up, exist? Yes, they do. Definitely. Your guess is as good as mine. What do you think, Mercedes? Do you think they exist? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, we yeah. cannot be the only no, life form. No, fuck no, we cannot be. It's like that little Siri, what if a master plan to take over the world? Here's what I found. Rap boys and our little Caesar's pizza. Will I die all chains. We are all connected to the universe and to each other. So you were never alone. Heartwarming, but that I is. think there's something funny. <laughs> that is. Will spicy. I die alone? We are all I'm listening to the universe and to each other. <laughs> what is your main function? I would rather talk about your calendar and dinner plans. <laughs> Are you hitting on me, Siri? <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can that's, help with? That's definitely a yes. Sorry, Will you tell me a story? I couldn't hear what you said. She was. I don't you have an answer, answer for that. Will you tell me a story? <clears throat> I don't have an answer. <laughs> tell me a story. <laughs> this has just become... That may be this has just become young adults yelling at their phones. Siri. <laughs> I'm here. <clears throat> Why are you such a dumb bitch? We were talking about you, not me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's great. I love that one. <laughs> well, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What is the meaning of life? 42. A movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, go. I'll be back. <laughs> 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 oh my god, did he just say a movie? Do you want Siri? To? I have everything I need in the cloud. <laughs> Great way to advertise the cloud, by the way. Siri, <laughs> what is the purpose of the FBI? Here's what I found. Oh, I didn't say anything. Do you, you know, work I don't know, for wait. the Federal Intelligence Agency? Of course. I found this on the web. Wait, in federal FIA? Siri, who is my FBI agent that tracks my phone? Here's what I found. Ooh. Can you Can tell my die? FBI agent that I love him? Maybe you should twirl. Secrets of FBI smartphone surveillance. Did you guys hear? Court. No, what'd no. you say? What'd she say? Can you tell my FBI agent that I love him? Shout it from the rooftops. Or anyway, ask me to send a text for you. Well, damn, that's that's weird. Do you have a penis or a vagina? I don't understand. No, I shouldn't be telling you this, but I'm pretty sure that my great grandfather was in the FBI. I'm probably going to die for saying it. I think that people can know that you were in the FBI, just not necessarily specifically what you did. Maybe it was it. What is it? What's the difference between the FBI and the CIA? They're both just different. Branches of a higher up, police force. They doesn't one deal with federal. doesn't one deal with like some crazy ass shit though? They both deal with crazy ass shit. What do you like mean? aliens and shit, both of them. CIA. Yeah, I think he was in the CIA. I think. Siri, how many people stormed Area Fifty One? Maybe it was just that. Yeah. Here's what I found. About seventy five people gathered at the Area Fifty One gate, and two people were detained. Really? Did that actually go down? Yeah, 75 people actually went there to go protest Area 51. I'm like, they're fucking retarded. What's your favorite animal? He just had a stroke. <laughs> Do you remember? Were you that scene, kid? Were you that scene, kid? If I bring you up a picture, you might remember. Uh, what? Who kidding? Silence until I find the pictures. I Siri, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be right back. I'm listening. You don't remember? I do, but what's he off of? His own show. It's oh, a Japanese show. show. What's it called? Domo. Siri. Domo. What is the best part of being alive? 
think so. No, I don't think. I found this on the web. Siri, you really piss me off sometimes. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Yeah, don't piss me off so much. Could you kill I couldn't hear what you said. Shh. I won't respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, who is the real Zodiac killer? <laughs> He's sitting right next to you. Here's what I found. <laughs> you think it was? Is that an actual theory? Yeah. Is it for real? Yeah. Slave, what? It's my new thing. I don't want to drop that. Is he sad with slave. the Zodiac Ted Bundy killer? as the Zodiac killer. Here's what I found. Mm. Do you have a way of pulling up all the searches that you've ever done for Siri? Show oh, okay. me what? Is there some weird ones on there? Have you ever asked her to like get naked and then she's like, I can't do that. And do you think if like, I asked him to get Get naked? That is both inappropriate and irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, go back to Ted Bunny Mercedes. Get your mind out of the filter, goddammit. I wanna know do about you have this a shit. Penis? Mercedes. I don't have a <laughs> Sorry. Next question, is Ted Bunny have a penis? Does Ted Bunny have a penis? There you go. Now we're getting closer to it. Here's It showed a picture of my eyes. Found stats on serial killer dick sizes. Click. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ted Bundy was eight inches. What? Jeffrey Dahmer was seven. Ed Guy was 6.02. Because that zero two matters. <laughs> Every inch counts. Somebody commented on this like, because it's on Reddit, so it's like a like a screenshot of this. It's just posted on Reddit. Somebody put po like posted a comment. It said, "Nice try, Ghost of Ted." Oh my. Because he has the biggest dick on this list. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like where this podcast is turning. <laughs> But I think all three of us are in desperate need of a cigarette. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. All right. So we are going to. Siri. I want to go. Cody. Siri. I am Siri. No, you're not. You're not Siri. Okay, if you insist. You're working for the FBI, aren't you? I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Is my phone tapped? Cigarettes. Interesting question. Don't lie to me, Siri. Cigarettes? I'm not programmed to lie. Do you guys Is want to say true? goodbye to the microphone? I constantly well, strive for general huh? truthiness. Huh? But we're just going to leave them. Leave huh? them in suspense. <laughs> leave them in suspense <laughs> for 10 back. minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you want to do that? Yeah. You want to just pause it and then come back when you pick it up? Or do you want to just leave a 10 minute we're, play? We're, we're leaving a 10 minute play back. <laughs> oh my god. This, is, this <laughs> is be like the break room at the time. This is where we get the cigarettes and they're like... If you need to pee and you're not on a mobile device, or if you are in a room full of family and anybody needs a snack or anything, if you just want to, you know, bash your head into the wall or kill yourself, <laughs> go ahead and take a 10 minute break and we will be back after we go get some cancer. <laughs> we are. Eat the eat it. We are literally just going to keep the microphone and record nothing. Um, I can play some music for them if they prefer. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh, my mother texted me. You can play some classic Beethoven. Um, what's well, everybody's favorite song? My favorite song? We're gonna play Tempo by Lizzo because that's <clears throat> what came up first. We'll play it real nice and soft for you guys. Why is Christmas music playing? Uh, I'm sorry, Siri. Can you tell me what the Christmas holiday season is? I love your microphone, bye. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Bitch. I don't know where I put my It's right there. Over there. In front of the Sega Genesis box. The Sega Genesis that is in the box, you can see that it's a Sega Genesis. Jesus Christ, don't you think you're trying to grab my ass? It was just a smartphone on it. Wouldn't really surprise me. What the hell? Oh, I thought you were grabbing three, and I was like, yo. I'm already set, dog. I don't think you're wrong. I don't know. 
I was just hoping you weren't going to like it. I wouldn't let you know. Why are you like so Music just stopped. <laughs> Music just stopped. I'm sorry, microphone. Oh, it looks like it's been silent for, uh, holy shit. <laughs> I guess I can't see it without stopping it and scrolling back, but. Looks like it was silent for a second. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you.
Thanks, I hope you guys enjoyed the silence. And after this, uh, let's let's do some ads. Uh, Mercedes has a uh, dog shop. <laughs> no, she we, doesn't. We um. We let you fuck them without consequences. There's a lot of ants <laughs> in this, this episode. <laughs> Um, I'm working on perfecting the perfect cigar, perfecting the perfect, I'm working on making a really good cigar, and then, you know, in 20 years, when I've done that, you guys can buy them, I'm sure, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see where the future takes me, but I have a lot of businesses, I build TVs in my free time, I don't really. Um, we have a spank bank, if yeah, you're ever interested, um, <laughs> you have to pay the spank, but somebody else does it for you. Yeah, and we get the bank. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and we get the bank. They spank you, you bank us. We get the Call bank. Call us. <laughs> yeah. 319-725-7777-8899. Spank, spank, spank. <laughs> Not yet. 1-800-SPANK <laughs> me. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's actually... Yeah. 362-4098-5678. Let's change our number immediately. <laughs> yeah. There's way too many numbers in that. You number. spank them, we bank them. What do you but bank? But they don't spank. Where, we, yeah, no, we, no. Somebody else spanks them for them. I'm not seeing... You the, just you I'm just not seeing here. the point of this business. I still we, think... We then sell the sperm. We, we, we then sell the sperm, but it's so basically... So you're making two times somebody, profit. Yeah, somebody, okay. somebody pays you. To go into this room, a whore comes in, or a, whore. a sex worker, my apologies. But then you gotta pay the whore, why not have just Gabe spank? Not if you have a or Cody, orphanage. Cody can spank him. No. Yeah, not if you have an orphanage. You have an orphanage. A orphanage. A orphanage. Oh. A orphanage. You got one side for whores, <laughs> you got the other side for the babies that they're giving up for adoption. That way you're killing two Cody is a soul. genius is all that I'm hearing. I learned that from Black Diamond. We, we pay them in meth, which we call <laughs> Yeah, because we live it's in very, South Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very substantial <clears throat> business, guys. Instead of got it's milk, milk, it's got meth. Yeah. Can I ask you to do a custom delivery, I suppose? Can you put my sperm inside of a dragon? And then can I have a dragon? Where are you obtaining this dragon? Because yes. I don't think this is Skyrim. I have a time machine. Oh, I have a hyperbolic time chamber I like to go into sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Train for about a day's worth of a year. No shit, though. Did you guys know you can buy dildos and I think pocket pussies that are shaped and, like, feel like dragons? Really? Dragon appendages. You can get a... Well, that, you can get a... What is it? What's that thing called? That Cody. interest Cody. <laughs> um, I can't find it. I'm gonna Google it. You can Dragon get a mold of dildos. your favorite porn star's vagina. Yeah. And you can sit there and I feel like those a flesh flesh bad light. dragon flesh light. Flesh light. Flesh yeah. it's called bad dragon for any of the kids listening. Look at that shit. And like, do you want to see a scale? Hold on. If it if it has any constellation or con 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 constitution, I don't know, Lord. Totally can't answer that. <laughs> combination. Do you know how big a coke like a coke can is? Huh. How, like how big a Coke can is? Is it about the size of a Coke can? Well, Jesus Christ, Cody. That's the small one. Cody's pants are definitely wet right now. Nah, man, you gotta be, gotta go big or go home. Y'all, <laughs> the extra large size. Holy like, shit! No, is that people what? are shoving that into their <clears throat> vaginas and assholes? That is disgusting. That is disgusting. People buy this. That's creepy. You people know. buy this and use it. Um, I guess they never heard of prostitution. I feel sorry. And you can get it in so many different colors. <laughs> what the hell is the point of the colors? Just fucking stick it up there. Okay, but look how cool it looks. <laughs> <clears throat> it's $75. Oh, shit. Well, we've already gotten this far in the conversation. Do you want to see now the Cody's special one? I'm tell you how my dragon paint is. Well, my dragon fantasies is me slaughtering an elder dragon in Skyrim with just my fair fists. And then orgasms. Alright. I'm digging it. I don't know how I feel about that. Y'all. I've we know you this are, you before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Look at that. God, damn it. That, well, once again, it's bad to show these products on a podcast. No, they can look up. Just go to baddragon.com, non-spawn. And... <laughs> 
baddragon.com and buy a dildo from there and tell us how it works, you know. Did it please you. Don't, you don't do no free advertisements. I'm no, not, I said non-spawn. Huh? Non-spawn? Non, well, yeah, non but I want to get fucking paid for wrenching them. No, no. People are going to pay us for letting mm. them know about that. Oh, okay, badass. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like you're uh, lying to make it better. <laughs> at the end of this podcast, I'd like to give out my Venmo for anybody who would like to yeah. send me money. Well, you can you can go ahead and give it out right now if you like. Oh, um, I have to look it up on my phone. Let, let right, me yeah. see if I can find my Venmo. Mine know. is MG Neeson, probably. Yeah. So it's M G N as in Nancy, E E S S. E N as in Nancy. Once again, that is M. <laughs> As in Matrix. <laughs> G as in Grandma. N as in Nancy. E as in Edward. E as in Edward. S as in Sally. S as in Sally. E as in Edward. N as in Nancy. Send me money. I am poor. <laughs> this is just becoming Thank you. you. <laughs> That's what we're advertising today. No actual companies. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, you can look that up on any money-giving site. I'm sure I'm on it. Just send me <laughs> money once again. That is <laughs> oh, my God. M-G Neeson. M-G-N-E-E-S-S-E-N. Minimum twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I won't Thank take any you. less. I won't take any less. <laughs> no less. Let's see. I got Venmo. Cody's pulling his up. <laughs> <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> so, if you would like to pay me for whatever fucking reason, for entertainment, uh, for entertainment, for leave us pictures. He'll for, also yeah, sell dick pics. I, I, I do not sell dick pics. He Thank will you very much. sell dick pics. But, but he is considering. Look him up. Cody I will Cody. send toe Cody. pics. I Cody. will send toe Cody pics. Cody will send you dick pics for money. It is at dick for Cody cash. dash Maloney dash one. Okay. Better spell that out. Uh, C O D Y hyphen M A L O N E Y hyphen one. If you'd like to send me money, but make sure you send memes with the money so I can grade them. <laughs> Let me see where to spell it. <laughs> Let me see where to spell it. I'll make sure these kids know. <laughs> Once again, that is C as in car. O as in octopus. D as in Daniel. Y as in yarn. Hyphen. That's the little dash, kids. That's the little, that's the little dash that you guys use, right? M as in matrix. A as in apple. L as in lost. O as in octopus. N as in Nancy. E as in Edward, Y as in why am I doing this? Dash. <laughs> that's another hyphen, kids. One, not spelled out. One, the like number the, one. the number one. Yes. Yeah. What you are if you send us money. Thank yeah. you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the Mercedes knows how to talk. Um, <laughs> my PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. I gotta sign in real Bring quick. up that PayPal. I would like to give up my credit card number. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the answer. That's the answer. That's the answer. Oh, that's, the answer. <laughs> that's the wrong thing to do. You gotta, you gotta get them to give credit card numbers. God damn also, it. the password to um, Cody's nudes, 16-digit card number on your parents' credit card, plus the expiration date at the bottom, and, and there's, a three, there's a three number... Like, I think it's called the CBU. a CBU. It's a CBC number. CBC. Kids won't know that. <laughs> it's the three numbers on the back of the card. That's yes. what we need. Yes. We need we need the 16 on the front, the expiration, the expiration date. date, the name on the card. Yes. Please spell it perfectly. Yeah, spell it everything right. And then the three numbers yes. on the back. And you will have unlimited access to yes. Cody's both toe picks yes. and nudes. He might send butthole pics. Yeah. Butthole pics are going to cost a lot more now, bud. <laughs> Three of those credit card numbers. <laughs> I also would like to uh, announce my GoFundMe so I can make my eyes aligned and even. Same. I'm, I'm really tired of telling people I have 2015 vision. I get nothing but shit for it. Well, I get 2020 vision. I got perfect yeah, vision. Yeah, see, I just want 15-15. I'm tired of one of my eyes being stupid. Or you could just, like, main yourself a tiny bit and get 20-20. I don't want 20-20, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I want 15-15. 
I don't care what you want. That's how it's all about. You get 2015 or you get 2020. There is no making your eyesight better. It's very you important. You suck. It's very important to me. My grandpa stood 15 feet and 15 inches tall. I don't give a shit. She was okay. a giant? My grandpa's dick uh, was 15 inches, yeah. but I'm sure you'd know that. He, how big? 15 inches. That's yeah. packing a lot of meat. He went... <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish the he's, 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 he's the type of guy you know when you go into the public bathroom and they have to go like this like it's <laughs> <laughs> like that you know like when they're trying to whip it out and it just comes it goes like this <laughs> yeah, it just <laughs> blasts out I you know I love how it looks it'll be fine they can't imagine what we're doing I'm sure, I, what they're, I'm sure what they're thinking is better than what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, that's probably. That's the nice thing about these podcasts. You can use your imagination. Exactly. Speaking of imagination, you guys have not appeared in any of the short films that we have made yet. But you guys are both planned for future shit, ain't you? I believe you the wanted movie? me to become a comedian. Well, I do, yeah. I can tell some pretty good jokes, but a lot of them are racist. <laughs> Ever see he's going to play a nurse in the next movie, right? Yeah, I can be fat enough for that. <laughs> oh, that's my. Well, I get paid royalties. I want one dollar or one Pancheros burrito per viewing. So, my. Okay. My okay. <laughs> what do you call a bunch of black people running down a hill? Hmm. A mudslide. I'm sorry. <laughs> What'd you say, please? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, I, I like always. both of them. That's what we need to start doing is jokes with an A B we can choose. Oh, there's another one too, what they call a bunch of white people running down a hill. Slaveovers? No. Oh. Uh a snow uh, it, it's an avalanche. 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 Yeah. That makes sense. It's an avalanche. I can see being slave owners though, like right after the slaves got free. I mean, they got free, and then they came to the north, and then fought a war so they could win. And they were free when they came to the north. Oh, the black people, but you know, like a lot of them are always repressed nowadays. From when, like, I'm sorry, but like your ancestors could have been like, "Nah, I don't want to get on this boat. It doesn't look fun." I don't think that was an option. <laughs> I really don't think that was an option. I think it was sold into slavery and forced into it. I mean, but I, I also think wrong. we live in the north, so yeah. like they escaped mm. here to escape slavery. How are my ancestors at all right now? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. my ancestors yeah. are from the north. I'm not from the south at all. Yeah. So like how, how am I at fault? Okay, so what? I know Abraham Lincoln was actually my cousin. Abraham, I think Abraham Lincoln was actually for slavery. Ab- until, yeah, he was. Until it came to the election but, when he changed but, stances but to that's become not, elected. But that's don't not quote the me. Point. But that's not the point. Don't put that in your school book reports and shit. But, I don't know. But that's not the, <laughs> that's not the point though. Abe Lincoln, a- Abe Abe Lincoln. My cousin, me and him way cool, you know, we ride the Buicks and shit, the Lincolns, because, you know, he made that. He was got his but, head blown out. <gasps> but he can be a fucking ghost, you know? No, no, yeah, no. He no, he can't be a ghost. He has to be a nigga. A what? You nigga. You know, like your white. homeboy? He is my he You're is my white. Cousin. Oh, I know. But it offends <laughs> so many people it when does. they say it. White. I know. He Did you know people boy. can identify you just based off your skin? Oh yeah. But uh but you can't identify them but what they have in their pants, but you can define them depending on their skin color. Yep, yeah. I don't know people are changing their skin colors though. I like mean that one girl like who acts Sia. black but she's white and then the other girl who's black then she acts like she You talking about is Lainey? white. Yeah. <laughs> Lainey's gonna listen to this yeah. and be like, What the fuck? I'm just fucking around with Lainey if she's listening she she's not listening to this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Can you, can you re-listen to him? What? Can't you re-listen to him? Yeah. Yeah. So she so you should play to this it. for Jared and Lee. Which honestly, I don't think Jared likes me. Yeah, I don't know. Jared's a odd octopus. Like at first, when the whole Mariah thing was going on, he was cool with me, and then when Mariah started like saying shit, and then and that's when he just kind of was like, "Ew." I love but I'm Jer- sure that's because of what Ryan was saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Jerry to death, you know, and I love a lot of people to death. But I will say that a lot of people, not okay. not even just him, but a lot of people just don't understand other people's mindsets at all in the slightest, you know. Yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, like right now I'm at I'm at this point where I'm uh you know if I'm being a hundred percent with just you not even the microphone like I'm so fucking sick and tired of people always hitting me up for shit. Not you guys, but like my other friends and it's like if they're if they're not showing me that mutual energy that I got for them when they got problems, I'm cutting them out. That's good. Yeah. I mean honestly That's the point you gotta get to. I get to that point. I've like I've burned a lot of bridges in the last two years and Sadie's has seen it. Can yeah. we have the same energy that I'm going to be on your floor for ASMR? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I should. I, this guys, podcast this has needed. This is going to be the best day of your life. If you have a piss fetish or a urine fetish, go ahead and open your ears and pull out your dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, well, thank you. We're about to have the best part of your life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this podcast is needed to turn, and that took guts, and it was a turn. For the better. You're taking the podcast over. <laughs> Mike, um, Mike is stepping down. Mike is stepping down. Mike is stepping down. Did you drop the mic? I get dro- out. I dropped the figure hip Get out. <laughs> Mercedes, you can have my house. You can have my cats. Why are you humping? Oh, are they humping? Are they both boys? No. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. (laughs) It's hard to raise dogs. Well, if they're not both fixed, you're about to have some puppies because fucking. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you should have split them up. I'm not splitting that up, bitch. No, no, not you. I say he should have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so. I mean, if one's, one's, if one's a girl and one's a boy and they're not fixed, for sure puppies are coming. Oh, yeah. But yeah, because I just saw them fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, puppies are going to be coming, you know Take a video. That'll be the podcast video. Okay. That's just, like, when they click on your podcast, that's the first video yeah. that, like, blows up into their yeah. screen. Like, yeah. the, the oh, podcast oh, 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 intro. Yep. <laughs> Dogs panting and humping on screen. That's great. I think this podcast has been one of the best. <laughs> We've done a lot of funny shit. Yep. <laughs> oh, Ooh, fuck. Man. We run out of topics, though. Should we hang it up? I don't know if we should hang it up because, you know, I still never got to my business venture of how I plan on having an abortion clinic. Oh, yeah, do it. Do it right now. Well, I mean, like... <clears throat> you ever see Captain Falcon off Smash Bros? Yeah. The Falcon Punch guy? Yeah. Could you imagine if you just, like, opened up an abortion clinic and, like, to get the baby out of them, you lit your hand on fire and punched him in the stomach? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm liking it. Keep going. So, like, that would be technically assault, and in some people's eyes it'd be murder. You but in sure a lot of other people's eyes it'd be crowd control. You sure it wouldn't be a pepper? <laughs> There's a lot of salty people out there. Alright, yeah. listen, I just need to get out of What the fuck? I have a very important question. Yeah. Why do you use one ply toilet paper? Um, have you ever heard the little Vicky song, Save That Money? Um, listen, <laughs> you have to use twice as much toilet paper when using one ply toilet paper versus two. So on the exterior, it looks cheaper, but you go through it twice as fast. I'll take these life lessons. You feel what I'm saying to you? You feel what I'm saying to you? I feel so get you. a septic safe two ply toilet paper. You can get the great value brand. That part doesn't matter. Brand does not matter. I feel you two like ply. an Indian feels a horse. Two ply. Two ply. Two ply. Two ply. California love. And then a coat of pulling in. I hope not. Why? Because <laughs> we have podcasts rolling, and his dog is like probably. Your neighbors, maybe? Dogs are probably humping around. Is that your driveway? Yeah. yeah. That's your neighbors. Okay. Maybe. Unless they turn around. <coughs> well, fuck, I gotta go tell them why. No, I don't. <laughs> We're not that far. I hate We all don't ideas. even like conversating with people. Wait, did you like your abortion clinic or did I get around to you? No, see, the abortion clinic would be nice. It'd be very expensive. And I would get sued a lot. But, but it would make up for it. It would make up from crowd control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, I think China has everyone beat because, like, in China, you're only allowed to have two children. 
I think you get like permitted for it. I think you get permanently like castrated after you've had two children. Yeah, like, like, like your literal. tubes, your tubes have to get tied if you have, if you have two children. Or something but the like thing that. is, is they trying to have it. so many people, they could take two lines and feed it into the ocean, and with the way that they mass produce, it would never end. Yeah. So there'd be a lot of people seeing white screen in the waters. Oh yeah. Uh, I think China's ahead of the game. China's gonna kill us. China's probably gonna kill us. Controversial opinion. <laughs> Abortion is necessary, like, population control. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, like, the thing is, if you don't want a baby and you have a baby, odds are you're not gonna take very good care of the baby. Yeah, or even if you don't have a baby. You if know, you don't want a baby, odds are that baby's life is gonna suck. Yeah, yeah, like, you you're know? not gonna be able to afford it properly. That's. Right. That's my big thing when it comes to abortion. Like, if you are not ready, it's just like marriage. If you're not ready for marriage, don't get married. It's a bad idea. If you're and, not ready to have a kid, and even if you're, even if you're ready financially, like you have the room for it, you have like the finances. You still for have it. the right to be mentally, not ready mentally. Mentally, if you're not ready for it, you're still gonna like neglect yeah. that child. You're gonna abuse that child. You're yeah. gonna take away from that child and what even, could have been a really good life for them. And even if you put him up for adoption and he gets adopted, the thing is, he's gonna figure out at one point that he's adopted. And it's still gonna fuck him up just as Bad. Well, and foster care is so fucked up. Oh, yes. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we just? Uh, All right. So this. Cody, this stop department. barking! Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to bark in your name. Bark you, off. You're barking. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mercedes just gave us that look like that was cheesy as shit. It was. It was, but it had to be said. It did have to be said. Nobody's yeah. ever said that to me in my 18 years with the living. You're not even looking at a watch. You don't even have a watch. Well, I'm to kill myself. <laughs> I believe this is the time where we end the podcast and we start, you know, a suicide pact. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, who would like to go first with the punch? The Falcon punch of abortion? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mercedes, you can't go first. Why not? Because you got to videotape us killing ourselves. Why can't he videotape it? How am I going to kill myself? He's last. I'm first. You're second. Wait, if she's second, how the fuck's the camera gonna keep rolling for third? You! Then you get to watch So us. why doesn't he just videotape it from the beginning and I get yeah. it first? Because yeah. then you take turns. No. <laughs> it's, gonna be a way, it's gonna be a way steadier shot if the camera yeah. doesn't have to switch yeah. hands. Yeah. Or, yeah. or tape the camera to the wall. And we all kill ourselves at once. And then yeah. who's gonna recover the footage? The police. The person who finds <laughs> this. The person who finds this It's just your roommate. Oh, that would suck for Gabe, though. He has a name. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't... Okay. <laughs> He'd be like, Yo, oh, Mike, why haven't you paid this month's rent? And then he comes in here and just sees three decayed bodies. Yeah, yeah. He's like, like we've well, been shit. here for months. He hasn't been yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, we've just, been here for six months and he just hasn't been home. He comes, you've, you've been actively evicted. Like, they've come. Yeah. They've taken all your stuff yeah. out. He comes they've locked the door back here. up. Somebody else is currently renting the place but just hasn't moved in yet. <laughs> yeah. And he finally comes in. Steps in with a lumberjack beard and he's like, I just got done vacationing in the Bahamas. It was a last minute decision. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> and he's just like, there's, there's, there's there's street there's street dead bodies and 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 and, and we're not and there's all a dead. family of four living <laughs> yeah. in here like they're they're yeah. just watching TV with our decayed bodies. Yeah, my right body's being used as a blanket. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Your body is being used to hold a microwave. <laughs> my, body, my body, my body is just thrown out in the back. Cody's is quite literally a biology skeleton. He's got a hat on. And yeah, I'm just I'm just. He's like, posed like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm like, posed dabbing. You know. No, no, you gotta be doing the like. The star eyes. Oh, the star eyes like Diva. Even though it's not a star, so I don't know why we call it star. It's more of a peace, peace eyes. You know, in uh, Britain, if they do that, that means fuck you, right? All the goddamn times that I was in Britain and I was like, yo, yeah, what up? Yeah, and this means peace out in America, but when you do this to someone in like Britain, you're pretty much doing this. That is just rude. Yeah. All those people did in you, Britain that I thought were my friends. Well, they, well I think it was... Was I don't it know Clinton if you know that did that? I don't remember, because one of the presidents came out of the like this thing, and there was a bunch of British people there, and well that's Britain. And he came out going like this, and like every like I guess everyone got offended because it looked like he came into their country, <laughs> flipping them all off. 
Can you imagine that? Just be like, yeah, yeah, I'm here, world peace. And they're like, no, fuck you, man. See, I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually uh, related to uh, name, name of Britain. Name, you know, name of Britain. Yeah, you, Just name of Britain, do, any do, of them. Do you know Britain? I don't know Britain. No. Um, the guy who plays uh, the current Spider-Man. Tom, uh, Tom Holland. He is my stepbrother. Okay. Yeah. So, I've been to Britain quite often. Oh, he's probably not from Britain. Come on, Mr. He's trying to hard According to Pokemon Go, I've been to Japan mm-hmm. within the last two years. Really? Have you? No. No. Oh, you just admitted using... to spoofing on the internet, though. Have you been yeah. using a, uh IP address server? Uh, I don't have the fucking, uh, mm. what is it? The oh, yeah, I think you were telling me about this once. Yeah. What is it that you do? The oh, spoofer. You, yeah. Where you, like, trick your location. They don't, they got rid of that now. It's so fucking hard to do, because then you gotta, like, uh, you pretty much gotta retranslate the coding on your phone and reset yeah. it. Yeah. There's a fucking... If... You can get a full course Christmas dinner in one can. Like it's all stacked so up. So is it there. all just mixed together? Yeah, it's like a turkey dinner, but it's like, you know, a serving of turkey at the bottom and then some like carrots and then it looks like green beans maybe. <laughs> some gravy, white stuff. <laughs> like, well, I mean, up until. It's, but it's layered. Up until the white stuff, it all sounded pretty gravy. But it. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, well, time to end the broadcast. Yeah. Well, this be a happened. I don't know how many times we've been mentioning the podcast. Pikachu. Then we still going. Get you butt plug. No, we'll get him some anal beads and rip it out. Like we're P- trying to Pikachu start a lot more. I know what I'm getting gave for Christmas. <laughs> Pikachu butt plug. Yes. In a hard helmet. In a hard helmet. You know those uh, three characters from Twilight? You, did you guys ever see any parts of Twilight? Oh, of course. Like the first one? I've seen all. You you know, you remember that, like, the black guy with the weird white guy? Yeah. That was dating the white yeah. girl? Yeah, with the white girl hair. with the red hair? Yeah. She was so fucking hot. Okay, well, you remember those three, that, like, trio, though? I don't remember them as much as I remember the white girl with the red hair. But you remember that, but you remember them, like, yeah, in I, general. Like, yeah, you remember yeah. what they are to the story yeah. and stuff? Yeah, we you, should you talk remember, about the girl with the white No, but you remember... Red hair. <laughs> <laughs> she was hot. But you remember, but you remember them? Yeah, I remember I'm gonna them. tell my kids that those were the black eyed peas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about the girl with the white, with the white and the red hair? The red hair. The white girl with the red hair. What about her? Can you set me up a date with her? Uh, no. She killed herself. Did she really? Yeah, when I... Are you just pulling this out of your ass, When I told her that I was going to set her... Oh, my God. She killed herself. (laughs) She looked me up and she was like, Oh, hell no. Is this what I've come to? Bye. I like those memes where it's like shows a guy with a shotgun and the gun's pointed at him and it says Kurt Cobain and it points a shotgun and it also says Kurt Cobain. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Kurt Cobain was a funny character, especially when he killed himself. Hilarious. Great performer. I mean, that I was always, just the best comedy. I always ever. thought the movie theater that had the, the special effects when the people came out and just started shooting up the place, that was really good special effects. Do you? It made the movie look so real, like people were actually getting killed. Are you talking about the Dark Knight Rises? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember um, Lincoln Park's lead singer, Justin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chester, Chester, Cheeto? Oh, or right? I thought we were talking about the Cheetos. No, no. I thought Chester oh. Cheetos was the, in charge of Lincoln Park. <laughs> but you remember that guy? Yeah. That could, like, kill yeah. himself? Yeah, it was two weeks after um, Chris Cornell. Yeah. And they were, yeah. like, connected with him. Yeah, like, daughter. really good friends, yeah. But they were, like... Apparently, I don't know if this is true, it's all speculation, conspiracy theory, they were connected to the same pedophile ring that Epstein was. Oh, like, they pedophile kids? Yeah. What? Honestly, I think all pedophiles should be uh, publicly executed. Well, apparently Once every famous person ever is a pedophile. Like, Bill Cosby, B. Cos. I think he's warm Bill Cosby now. I, I seen I seen a really funny one where it was like a picture of Bill Cosby and he was like, "Oh, you thought I said Netflix and chill? No, I said here, take this pill." <laughs> 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 that shit had me rolling. <laughs> And then I seen this other one, you know, the, the, the pictures of the white cat, and he's, like, pissed off those two girls? Yeah. Well, they got rid of the two girls, and they th- they put three black cats, and then they put a, pic- a phone in the white cat's hand, and he was like, hello, 911? <laughs> 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 that shit had me rolling, dude. <laughs>
Oh man, they make some stupid shit on the internet nowadays. I mean, they edited Michael Jackson standing over Anakin Skywalker's dead body, and he goes, "Amy, are you okay? Amy, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay?" <laughs> oh. My name is Michael. Thank you very much. Actually, don't call me by my slave name. Call me Mike or M Dog or. I identify myself as a philosopher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, see, I think if I tried hard enough, I think that I could become a wall mural. No, if you try hard enough, you become a walrus. They got some pretty, pretty hefty teeth. Me and Jerry were actually just talking about this the other night. We were trying to figure out what animal we would get if we ever were to bunk up together. And uh, we decided not on an otter or a... Uh, I want a sloth. I would love a sloth. But we decided not on an otter or a pea carry or a, uh, fuck, what was his? His, some stupid shit. We decided on getting an emu and an ostrich and mating them. I don't know how I feel about that. That seems utterly racist. <laughs> it it is. The famous connections of Jeffrey Epstein, the elite wealth manager who died in jail. Um, Chester Chenning, Ch Cheningston and Chris Cornell. Uh, former President Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, and Trump. Trump? Trump. Wow. He has connections to all those people. Well, that's not very surprising, sure. honestly. Okay. Um, I wish they would just, like, give me a list. I know, I'm interested. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a bullet point. That's list. the worst part is waiting. But the thing is, I like the podcast listeners and not feel like it's so scripted. I like it when it's more natural like this. Um, Kevin Spacey and Chris Tucker also took trips with Epstein. Kevin Spacey is my stepfather. And Will Ferrell is my stepbrother. Um... You have to do that noise closer to the microphone like it is ASMR. Um, limited brand CEO Les Wexler. Lex Luthor? Do you know what to read? <laughs> Only confirmed that. client, which is... Stella, come here. <laughs> she heard the so clicking. One of the dogs tried to eat one of the cats, so they can't leave the bedroom. One of the cats got a free arm shower. Because he like put his hand under the door trying to fuck with the dog. And then the dog like took his mouth and covered the cat's arm. And like tried pulling it out from under the door crevice. And I was taking a shower the whole time it was going down. You know, and I was on the whole body wash part. And I think I was like washing my feet and my legs and my neighbor. I mean, not my neighbor, my roommates pounding on the door. And he's like, yo, man, you got to check your cat. And I'm like... I've been in here for like five minutes. <laughs> How did that happen? Like I turned my back for five minutes and chaos ensues. It's wow. racist. What? According to the New York Times, Epstein claimed to have advised Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Oh shit. I really hope my name is not on that list because it is not true and I will clear it right now before you say it out loud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mercedes gets two more names down, and she looks at me, and she says, you're on the list. MIT Media Lab Director Joy Ito. Are we just naming off people that have touched kids right now? Um, that are connected to Epstein in mysterious ways. Any touch kids? <laughs> Let's see. He also was connected to MIT Media Lab and Bill Gates. Ooh. To arrange donations. Ooh. Stella. Stella. Reed Hoffman defended Stella. Ito after news of Epstein's connections. Continue reading the list. I gotta go make sure my cat's all on. That's the end of the list. That's the end of the list. God damn it, I got up on the wrong time. Hey. You have water. <laughs> God damn it. That cat gives me a run for my money every day. But I love her. Because she's my daughter. Have we run out of things to talk about officially? <laughs> my cat's a dick. Your cat's a dick? Yeah, he's getting fixed soon. 
Oh, is he badass? Badass. He's got to get fixed soon. Otherwise, we get rid of all our kitties. Yeah. Yeah, if we have to get rid of our cat, we have to get rid of your cat. We already have this discussion. And then we start over. And we only get cats that are already fixed. I wouldn't get another animal. <clears throat> One more off the street. Yeah. I mean, if I did get another animal, I don't even know what I would get. Snail. Nah. Think about it like. Alligator. Oh. You're yeah. having really bad deja vu right now. It's still she said we love. Hey. The gypsy cat. What's your deja vu consist of? Just like the way your house is set up and where I'm sitting right now. Yeah, yeah. I had it's... it in a nightmare. Oh really? So yeah. <laughs> I got killed in the nightmare. Yeah. Yep, still one dog comes flying through our window. <laughs> I get shot? I don't know if the podcast listeners, I don't know if we actually mentioned on the podcast, but uh, there was a stolen dog like 10 minutes before Mercedes and Cody pulled up. I texted her and I was like, yo, there's like eight cops driving around the block right now. So uh, I don't know if there's like a madman outside running around the block with a gun or what, but you might want to hold off. Like, Did I ever minutes. tell you about the time I seen someone running around with like a fucking meat cleaver around my grandma's house. Really? Yeah, I was like... Don't tell my stories like that. <laughs> no, no, like, I was walking home from Tyler and Kirsten's house, <laughs> and, like, I just seen this guy, like, just wandering around the fucking, like, the area, and then wandering around everyone's house, just fucking... It looked like he was all quacked out holding a fucking meat cleaver, and, like, I just, like, walked into the back door, locked it, walked up to the front door and locked it, my grandma's like... Why are you locking the door? And I'm like, unless you want to get killed with the meat cleaver, you better keep the door locked. That sounds like a really good uh, um, sitcom. <laughs> I don't know. Look, I looked like you. Seinfeld, were the Dark Years. Did this happen by chance on uh, January 11th? It happened sometime in January. I don't know. Oh shit! For real, I was just fucking around. I was gonna be like, oh shit, that was the day I went to the insane asylum. <laughs> oh. When it was cold out? It, had, it happened when it was cold out. Yeah, yeah. Dude had it been on something. Oh, It's yeah. just like, I'm not dealing with <laughs> it, this. He was, he was from South Dakota and he was like that. Is it safe to say? What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, you started talking <laughs> and then I started singing <laughs> and then you stepped on. I don't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> hey. That's when you know we've been talking for too long. <laughs> well, we made it to an hour and 39. That's really good. That's the longest podcast I've done. You've done one other. Well, I've, I've <laughs> recorded two other. <laughs> the longest one before was 15, went an hour and 15. All right, folks. Before we go ahead and leave, we're going to go ahead and sign off with another mic scratch just for your amusement. So, if you uh, enjoyed this podcast, go ahead and again, my uh, any, <laughs> anything that you can send money to is uh, MG Neeson. If you want to know how to spell that, look it up. Uh, Just go back like 30 minutes. Here's that mic scratch for you. Oh. And that's us signing off, kids. Do another one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Why does it hurt? And yeah, so go ahead and send me money at MG. <laughs> <laughs> um, any money platform that you could send money to. Um, that's all, folks. <laughs> Cody, you have goodbye. Later. Yeah, I like Cody's goodbye. <laughs> all right. Peace out, fucking bitch ass.